I hear a town notice right as I leave my house, letting us know that today is the fishing tourney. I think we might actually participate today, but dailies first. The silver watering can is making watering all these flowers much easier. After taking care of the flowers and fossils, I stop by the dream suite to make sure my dream town is updated, and I have to say thank you to everyone who's visited so far. I've already received comments from those who have had the chance to visit firsthand, and I'll be trying to take your suggestions into consideration where possible. In Nook's homes, I actually found an exterior that I think I like more than my existing one. Hopefully this one is easier to find a door for. Since I'm actually in town a little bit later than usual, I make sure to swing by and bring some food for Shrunk, and in return he tells me the joy joke. This is definitely an expression I'll be more likely to use. With my dailies wrapped up, I head over to the town plaza and meet Chip for the very first time. And he turns out to be a very hungry guy who's holding the tourney. He tells me that this fish tourney's target is the horse mackerel, meaning everyone in town but Tangy is fishing in the wrong spot. You'd think they know where to find it since that info is available at the museum, but oh well. I catch a couple and completely forget to check the sizes, meaning I hand in the largest one to Chip first, of course. He gives me the prize for breaking the record, which is actually how you earn the prizes during this turn. Something I'd love for them to add into New Horizons after, you know, you've caught a bug or a fish. Let me check the size of it from my inventory screen by examining it. Pretty happy with holding the current first place, I decide to turn my attention to my bridges and paths. I mentioned yesterday wanting to relocate them, and I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to go about doing that. It looks like I'm a lot later getting into Calico today than normal, and not that much is open, so I guess we're gonna focus on gardening stuff. A suggestion I received in the comment section mentioned wanting to see more of the town initiatives, so I guess we're gonna start there. I plant some more banana trees on the beach, and while I'm at it, plant some perfect peach trees to try and fill in the space behind retail. This space below where our initial bridge was is actually starting to bug me, so I decide to put down like a checkerboard pattern similar to what I did near Town Hall, but out of red and yellow pansies since I seem to have so many of them. It's a start, at least. I always end up with a lot of the default red, yellow, and white flowers of each variety, so I want to try incorporating them where I can. I always want to try out different patterns uh, instead of, you know, the alternating pattern that I always seem to do. So I decided to make some repeating stripes of red, yellow, and white tulips near the town plaza. Okay, just, just a side note. This dung beetle is so close to making his own little snowman. I'm rooting for you, little guy. I take the remaining black tulips and place them outside Punchy's house for now, and the sole pink tulip is going in front of Rosie's house. I don't plan to keep those there, but for now it makes the town look a little bit more tidy. I swing by Red's, as he's still open for whatever reason, and pick up a scary painting. This one is real, as his fingers are all pointing out instead of just his pointer fingers. Pointing. Like, point your fingers do. So, maybe I misread this. I thought I could just plant trees, but I guess I need an actual tree sapling from leaf. Oh well, we planted some trees, and that's what matters. I just remembered I didn't sell my island bugs from last night, so let's do that now. We can earn more than enough to pay off the museum renovation and our home loan. I call this a very successful evening. I received the scary painting from yesterday in the mail, and the museum renovation is done, so I'm gonna head to the museum first. Upstairs is a very cute owl named Celeste, who's running the display and gift shop section. It seems we've already unlocked the silver shovel, which you earn for donating 15 fossils, so I picked that up. On my way back to town, I swing by Nooks and ask him to expand my home once again. I could easily pay off this next loan right now, but I kinda like having bells in the bank. Speaking of the bank, actually, we also earned the piggy bank for saving up, and I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite rewards. After doing some watering, I stop by to say hello to Kabuki, and he mentions seeing Gulliver on the beach. I should probably go investigate. Really quickly though, I have this orange tulip, and I'm not sure what to do with it. 
Cat doesn't have any flowers yet, and this kind of matches her colors. Maybe she'll like it. I find Gulliver on the beach, and he seems a little bit lost. He tells me about what he remembers of his destination, and I determine he was headed for Japan. I wonder if he was on his way to Nintendo Direct, or if that's just some wishful thinking on my part. On my way back, Cat stops me to hand me a fine painting. Maybe the tulip was actually a good idea after all. I know fine paintings are always genuine, so I head to the museum right away to hand it in. Punchy stopped me mid-watering to ask for a peach, so I hand him the last perfect peach from my storage. I figure we now have so many perfect peach trees, I don't really need to worry about keeping a spare. Actually, while I was talking to Punchy, I noticed that I didn't do something around my town tree that I tend to do in my other towns. I just feel like this looks a little bit more realistic with the lip of the path around the tree, almost like it was paved up until the tree. Finally, for today, I decided that the space behind my house could use a little bit more character, so I decided to plant three cedar trees. I think this will actually also help cover us for that town initiative. I'm a bit late again today, and we only have so much time before retail closes, so I better get a move on. I make sure to do my dailies and water everything, and while doing so, Stinky approaches me asking if he should move out. He blames it on the coldness here, but I think he wants those blue flowers around his house. I tell him not to move, and I'll see what I can do. I thankfully made it just in time to sell off my fossils and extra items to retail. I think this is the perfect opportunity to go bug hunting on the island. I drop off my tools and jump in the boat with Cap'n, and before I know it, I'm slowly walking around in circles, trying my best to not scare away very lucrative bugs. Hello there you guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to, uh, I was about to say memory. <laughs> Welcome back to Calico. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone's having a fantastic Friday. I'm feeling a little bit out of it, not feeling that great to be honest, but I always do feel better after recording, so that's what we're doing today. Um, so over the week, I feel like a lot has happened in terms of our house. We've changed the exterior, as you guys saw. We also had it expanded. I actually don't I think I went in there yesterday, so my furniture is probably all around the center of the room. Uh, so let's go fix that right now. Yeah, okay. So, I could be wrong, but I feel like when I go into Nook's Homes, I'm probably gonna get that tutorial on how to place furniture in a happy home designer way. So I might actually leave this for now <laughs> and come back later uh, if that does happen, because it's so much easier to move furniture around. You know what? Just to get the suspense out of the way, why don't we go ahead and check if that's actually a thing right now? Um, and if it is, great. If it's not, oh well. Because I don't think I went there yesterday. I played very late last night. That was the issue. I realized, I'm like, oh, I didn't film any Calico, so uh, we did a late... What time is it? Oh, you're not open until 10, my bad. All right, 15 minutes, we'll come back. <laughs> I thought he was open at nine. I guess I'm thinking of the uh, the other stores there. Okay, so change of plans. Let's go ahead and make sure all of our villagers are happy. Uh, do our dailies. Um, and I also wanna get a public works project down today. I think it's probably gonna be a lamppost or something safe like that that's really cheap and easy to move because I'm very, very indecisive about where to place stuff, so. That I was hoping was a fossil, but okay, I'll take it. Um, I'm not gonna bother, bother, bother. Sorry, <laughs> watering stuff on stream today or on, uh, I guess on film today. Um, just because I think it isn't the most entertaining thing to watch, and it is actually very relaxing for me to do off camera. So uh, I will do that later. Hopefully, I remember today. Okay, so Cat will not be awake yet. Kabuki and Stinky should be. I think. <laughs> uh, I forget if there's any villagers that wake up at 10 a.m., but I guess we'll see. Uh, Lolly is, I think, behind her house. Hi, are you hiding? Hi, Missy. Sunny mornings just make me want to dance. So, how can I help you? Uh, apparently I delivered something. Thank you for delivering that package to Stinky. Did Stinky say anything? 
Wow, Stinky put it on right away? I guess that means things went well. I think she sent him like a rose shirt or something like that. I actually forget what that was all about. Oh, hello, Phineas. How's it going, dude? Okay, you know what? When he sings my town too, it sounds amazing. Just want to put that out there. <laughs> Good morning to you, youngster. The morning breeze in the forest is, um, sorry, is most agreeable today. By the way, is there something you need from me? Uh, could I have a badge? You want a badge, do you? Let's see. What kind of badge best suits you? I see, I see. It seems you've heard the old saying that a bell saved is a bell- Oh, he's talking about our bells, yes. <laughs> you have it all together, youngster. I like how you're preparing uh, now for your future. I've got the perfect badge for you. Okay, so we get the bronze- is that like a saver badge or something like that? Avid bell saver badge. I think I've got the hang of this whole saving thing. Yep, so that's just from our island adventures, I want to say. Do you have anything else for us today? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a no. Sometimes he'll come into town and he'll, like, shower you in badges. <laughs> uh, so I just remembered, actually, the last thing I did last night was I went to the island. And I didn't fill up this box entirely. I was very, very tired, but we got about halfway, I think, so... I'm gonna go ahead and grab these to sell this morning. Um, I don't think we're gonna earn a whole lot, but it'll definitely be enough to cover like a lamp poster, maybe even a bench public works project for later on today. So I see a whole lot of villagers. I see I saw Kitty in her house, I saw Chatter, I saw Bob in his house, so we'll come back and say hello to them shortly. Wait. I just saw Bob in his... Alright. Alright. Not gonna judge. <laughs> Not gonna question it. Okay, I'll also get rid of this gyroid while I'm at it because we're probably gonna get a lot of those. Part of me kind of wants to start a gyroid collection and just put it on the second floor of the museum. But I also really dislike gyroids. So I kind of just am in a collecting mood recently. I don't know about you guys. What else has happened in town this week? Honestly, it was a very just like, make sure town is good, make sure villagers are good, flowers, and saving bells. That's about all I've been doing. I need to really get a work or a, I guess a move on <laughs> uh, with my public works projects because I feel like that's what's holding us back right now from, besides the obvious lack of trees, uh, from, I guess, bumping up our perfect town rating here. I actually haven't checked what that thing has said, but I'm going to assume the status indicator is going to say that our town is a bit devoid of, uh, of flowers at the moment. Okay, and that's how many I got. I just got two out of four slots filled. Um, usually I would stay and do the entire island, but I was having such bad luck last night. It was absolutely awful. <laughs> like, I- it wasn't even me scaring away bugs. They just weren't spotting. It was really, really bad. Oh, 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 I'm having a bad luck day. All right. I see how it is, game. I got you. Loud and clear. <laughs> Wait, is Bob actually looking at that stereo? Because I actually might want him to have that. That's really cute. Give me a second, Bob. Don't you dare turn away from that. There we go. Do you want that, buddy? The second I laid eyes on the cassette player, I was sold. What do you think, Crystal? Should I go for it? I think it'll fit your house perfectly, bud. You're right. I'm totally gonna buy it. Excuse me. I'll take this, please. Okay. Not bad. I'm pretty happy with my shopping today. There we go. So at least Bob is having a good day. Hopefully a bit luckier than mine. Okay, so we got our bells, which is good. Um, let's toss around the order today a bit, you guys. Let's go actually talk to Isabel now. I think she's gonna want to do the ceremony or the museum upper floor, because I don't think we ever did that one. 
Uh, and then we'll come back and I'm, I'm still kind of set on a light post, I think. And I think I know where I'm going to put it as well. Just remembered, the townsfolk- Oh, my voice. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm definitely losing my voice today. Townsfolk would like to hold a ceremony to celebrate completing the museum renovation project. I'd be happy to. I feel bad saying no to you. <laughs> and again, just like with the Dream Suite, I really wish that this ceremony was held on Main Street and not in town. I think it'd be better, but who knows why they chose to do it this way. I feel like the only reason Chatter feels safe coming to this event when he's standing in between a bird and a cat is the fact that Isabel is right there with him as well. <laughs> well said, Mare. You have quite a way with words. Okay, moving on. Everybody, please locate that item we passed out earlier and get ready. There we go. That was pretty good. Oh, hi, Lolly. I just read that the type of flower you prefer is a reflection of your personality. Would you like to try it out? Great. So the following flowers, which is your favorite? Sunflower, daisy, uh, chrysanthemum, I think I'm saying that right, and dandelion. I'm gonna go sunflower. Wow, really? Sunflowers represent optimism and loyalty. That's great, because you accomplish anything with a positive attitude and hard work. What do you think? I bet you didn't know flowers could tell you all that. Awesome. And then we have Tangy here wearing that rose shirt I mentioned. Wait, no. Unless Stinky gave her that shirt. That's really confusing. I think Stinky and her shared shirts. <laughs> Wait, no, but now he's wearing a different shirt. Oh, I'm so confused. What's going on here? <laughs> I heard this rumor that the bag worm is in right now, so I just have to have one too. Think you could catch one for me? I will probably not, but I will accept it just in case I do. Okay, Chatter, how are you holding up, little guy? Hey, Crystal, looking good, as always. So what's going on? Crystal, I, I don't need to stay in any official records, but I'd like to be a person who lives on in people's memories. If I encourage, sorry, if I can encourage or cheer people up by being someone they always remember, that'd be great. Why is he such a good boy? Why are you so amazing? <laughs> I really like my villager set, you guys. These are some really cool villagers, a lot of whom I have not had before, or I've had very briefly. Are people talking about me? Is anyone saying stuff like, look how cool the strongest guy in Calico looks when he runs? What? No talk? No rumors? Nothing? All barbells. <laughs> oh, you too? They're my two food-based village- oh, Tangy, don't push him. Thank you. My goodness. <laughs> they are so sweet together. Okay. Uh, so there was the ceremony for that done, and we also got to talk to a whole bunch of villagers, which is good. Now I don't have to worry about it. Oh my goodness, is this another one or is this a gyroid? No, fossil, okay. Cool. Casually finding our fossils. How many do we have? Oh my god. <laughs> we have all four already, that's good. You know, I'm not gonna complain about that. Okay. Uh, so I actually might as well put away my shovel then. I'm probably gonna end up finding more dig spots just because we were um, snowed on last night. But otherwise. Oh hey, these are actually done. Totally didn't realize that earlier. Actually, have I even been up here? No, I haven't. Never mind. Okay. Back to the town hall. I don't know why I was saying museum in my head. <laughs> okay, Isabel, take two. Okay, 
We got the yellow bench, which I don't want. I want a different colored bench, but it took me forever to get in memory, so we'll see how long it takes me to get in this town. Uh, there's the water well fountain, which I love placing down, but I don't know where I want to put it. Park clock, which is tempting. Actually, very tempting. Um, I think I know where I'd put that. Uh, street lamp, which is probably what I'm gonna put down. Campsite, which I am a little bit torn on, but I think it will probably actually go where I used to put my plot resetting house, which is the top right-hand corner of town, I believe. The fence, fire hydrant, and then, oh, we have the lighthouse too. We do have the lighthouse, and I think... I think what I'm going to do with the lighthouse is it's orange and white in color, so I want to keep it kind of close to Tangy and Chatter's house. And it just so happens they have this really nice little area just below their front gardens, I guess, uh, that's off the path and it, it would fit, probably. That's actually kind of tempting. I might do that. You know what? Let's, let's go. I'm taking risks here. Let's go see. If I already know where I'm putting it, I might as well, right? Or at least I have an idea of where I'm putting it. Let's see if Isabel agrees or not. So just because of the color scheme, I know they're kind of both orangey yellow houses, but I figured right down here somewhere, but I'm not sure if I can get it maybe nice and centered how I want it. Let's see what she says. Okay, she's fine with the space. Okay, so that's pretty much centered in front of... Well, actually, it's not centered at all, but it's in front of Tangy's house. Um, what happens if I move it over a little bit? Just one square, maybe. Okay, I think it's just me who has to move, so... Yeah, nope, too close, too close. Back up. <laughs> Back up. Oh, or not 11, sorry, 10 a.m. already. Okay, so I think that's two spaces below the path. It's a little bit hard to tell. I was hoping to get at least two spaces on all sides. And oh, it's hard because I, I can't, it's not a three wide public works project, so it's not going to line up with the tree or either house, which is unfortunate. Um, let me just make sure that's two back. I think it is, but it's a little bit hard to, it's a little bit hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> Uh, so let me use this handy cat face, which I need to put down in other places. I keep forgetting. I think it is. I think it's only a too, too wide by too wide public works project. Let me see. So if I want the outside to be in these spaces here. And then down. Is that actually how wide it is? I feel like it goes back one further, but it's hard to tell. <laughs> okay, Isabel, let's try this again. Okay, no, it is two by two, which is good. Um, yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I like the idea of, of ha having at least two spaces on each side with having more on either side as well, of course, on the left and right. Because uh, I can put some like orange and white flowers down there and I think it'll look really nice. This, this section actually might have a lot of orange <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it by the end of this playthrough, but let's do it. First proper, I think? Other than the bridges, first proper public works project in town. 
Uh, and we actually don't have enough to pay for it right away. We have a little bit less than what we need. Okay, cool. So Lloyd is just going absolutely nuts because I'm close by. Poor little guy. <laughs> There we go. I don't know which flowers I'm gonna have around it just yet, but we'll pick something up. Now this kind of bothers me that it isn't even on this side and this side, but like I'm not I'm not too fast. I'm not too fast. I think as much as I love lots and lots of symmetry. I feel like I kind of need to let go a little bit and maybe have things look a little bit more realistic because not everything in real life is symmetrical, right? So it's kind of hard letting go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we paid off a decent amount of it and we got those bells out of our pocket. Um, we found all four fossils, which is Good. Let's go say hello to some villagers. How are you doing, buddy? This new town ordinance is making me spend way too much money. But retail buys my stuff for more money than before, so I guess it evens out. I spend a lot, but I have a lot coming in. It's like there's just money flying all around me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just imagining like bell bags with wings. <laughs> okay, so who haven't we spoken to today? We've spoken to Chatter, Tangy. We haven't seen Rosie. We've seen Punchy, we've seen Bob. Uh, Kitty was in her house. Let's go see if she still is. She is not, okay. Uh, we've spoken to Lolly. We have spoken to Stinky. Cat is not going to be awake for the next hour, and Kabuki is in his house. I feel really bad that I keep missing Cat because I really do want to get to know her better, but we just, we really don't have a good schedule together. <laughs> Yo, Missy, what are you doing? I'm thinking I might redecorate my room and I want to replace my tall cactus here. Just want something else instead. Can you recommend something around the same size? Okay, so just a one wide. Cool, we can do that. Okay, cool. Um, so hopefully we can find Kitty in the town plaza, because that's usually where the villagers who live close to that bridge end up. They tend to just wander in here. There's Stinky, Tangy, Chatter, uh, I don't see any kitties just yet. Oh well. I mean, specifically Kitty. We've, we've, we've seen a couple cats. Okay. Well, let's go get our fossils assessed. And uh, then I want to do something a little bit different after, actually. <laughs> Hopefully we have time for it. Also, by the way, again, thank you so much to those who have visited uh, my dream town so far. If you guys are curious, link, or not link, the dream address, sorry, will always be down below in the video description. Um, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it so much. It does mean the world, honestly. Okay, Blathers, let's see if we have anything that you need. I finished the T-Rex yesterday, which was pretty cool. Um, we have a decent amount of fossils saved up, honestly. Oh, he, there you go. There is something that he needs. Oh, wait. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Muscle memory, gosh darn you. Try that again. Was that an Anklo or Ankylo? I have no clue how to pronounce dinosaur names, Torso. Okay, cool. I won't mark that off on my own list. And that is done. Hmm? 
I'm good, thank you. Awesome, okay. Uh, so what I want to do, um, I'm going to skip updating my dream right now. I'm going to update it off screen later on for you guys, but I always do try and do it every single time I play. Uh, and I want to check out Nook's Homes like I meant to earlier. Okay, Lottie is not here. Oh my goodness, it's Crystal, so good to see you. Your house is much roomier, yes. I hope you find it adds to your quality of life, my friend. So, it's time for business numbers. Okay, that's fine. I'm- oh, is it after you pay off the secret storage room? I've forgotten how to do this, man. It's been so long since I've had to upgrade my house here. No, I think I'm good. Okay, so there was that done. Let's go shopping really quick here. Um, I'm not even gonna bother with the Able Sisters today. I don't really need any new clothes. Oh, there's Kitty. I hope I don't look like some weird old lady out bargain shopping for odds and ends. I- You know what? No. You don't really. You're fine. Kitty wall. You know what? I'm not gonna get that, but I think I'm actually gonna get that potted plant I just saw. I think that would work well with Alpine. No, hello? There you go. There we go, cool. Okay, do you have anything else? No, I don't need a mod wall, thank you. Flooring? I think that's the flooring I have in my house right now. <laughs> and... Classic. I love the classic set, but not right now. Okay, well at least we got one thing. That's kind of cool. Alrighty, check out Leaf here. And I actually still am buying flowers from him. We don't technically need to because we got the watering can. Um, but I think it's it's nice to have different kinds of flowers where possible. And some of them I find like the lilies and violets, they don't just spawn really easily in my town. I get a lot of roses spawning <laughs> and tulips. And of course we need the sapling. Actually, you know what? Speaking of sapling, I don't think I checked this today. Alright, so that was the tree hugger one. We did that. Uh, everyone knows your finest goods travel by air. Have your purchase shipped right to your door. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with that one. Shark initiative. Go catch a shark of a species. I hear they're less scary up close. And fashion forward, why hold- sorry, hide your bold fashion choices in a closet when they make for great decor. Hang an item of clothing right on your wall. I might be able to do that one really quick. I think I have a shirt in my uh, in my storage. Okay, let me see. Cool. Uh, so these are not for sale, and those are. Okay. So question for you guys, I think, for this week. I'm kind of struggling on placing trees off the paths, if you guys have noticed. I tend to just put them around paths and stuff like that. And I don't exactly know how to fill in all this space and make it look natural. Or even if I want to, I don't even know if I want to make it look natural. Maybe I want to make it look um, very, very orderly, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Also, shirts. Uh... That's the one I wanted. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, sell off our fossils and then I'll head back to my house, hang up the shirt really quick, and then we'll get to what I want to do today. Finally. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Reese is so nice. You earn so many bells from her compared to what you earned from Tom Nook in the previous games. Uh, and I think she actually does sell at a higher price than, uh, or buy items, sorry, from you at a higher price than Tom Nook ever did. Okay, and I also still am working on this bridge thing, by the way, and the different paths and stuff. Um, I'm a little bit indecisive, so. I just realized I'm gonna have to move all the furniture by hand. Oh man. <laughs> oh well. There we go. I'm just gonna move it all back right now, not even caring. We'll sort it out properly in a second here. Okay. No. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> there you go. Don't just change into that shirt. There we go. So that should be that completed. Awesome. Cool. So we may see a shark where we're going here. Oh, I got that potted ivy right. I just have to hang that up as well. Cool. Okay. Um, let me head on out here. Cool. Okay. So there's that done. What I want to do today, you guys, is head on over to the island, actually, uh, and see if they have a certain something. And if they don't, I want to see if they have a certain other, um, whatchamacallit, uh, tour. But I guess we'll see. This is the only downside, is you don't actually really know beforehand what's going to be there. So you might just be wasting a thousand bells for nothing. Or you, you know, it could be a good bargain, but you never know. Anyway, I'm gonna let Captain sing his song. Enjoy it, you guys. I'd never like to skip it, so. All right, moment of truth, you guys, moment of truth. Aha, uh -huh. there it is. Okay, I think it's gonna be about 40. Shiver me timbers. Don't be sneaking up an old woman like that and nearly scare me out of me shell. And that wouldn't be a pretty sight. You must be new here. My son brought you over in his boat, Yar. Well, since you'd be here, why not buy an island souvenir for yourself? That is exactly what I'm trying to do, lady. Like what suit that item ain't be something you see back in the big city, Yar. Well, it'll cost you- okay, 48 medals. Okay. I really want that. So. What tours do you have? Okay. Yes, gardening. Okay, so the gardening tour is really great if you're trying to uh, bring home a lot of the normal flowers, which I want to show you guys. Um, but actually, because it's 48 medals, it's a bit more than I expected. I think I'm probably going to go to the Dragonfly Tour, because I believe that one gives you a lot of medals, just normally. Um, so let's see if we can do this. 
If you like catching dragonflies on a tropical island, then this is the tour for you. Beginners, welcome. Which is good, because I'm awful at bug catching. If any of you have watched my streams before, you know how bad I am at bug catching. <laughs> Man, I'm so used to going to the island with people. It's a little bit weird being by myself. <laughs> Oh man, I miss the grass. Look at how nice it is here, you guys. So green and pretty. Okay, so pretty much catch a dragonfly. If I catch three within five minutes, I earn a prize. If I double that, I earn gold. Which is what we want. Hello! You are very large. One down. <laughs> Let's see how many we can catch, you guys. Oh. Oh, it was right in my head. Two. Okay, cool. Uh, let me see. Oh, that's very large and I totally missed you. I'm sorry. And now they get like skittish when you swing and miss at them. Gosh darn it, that was my fault. There we go. There's three. Yeah, I actually think I learned that from you guys. If you are doing a tour, and you don't know how much you need to, I guess, get the highest ranking. Um, just double the amount that he tells you at the beginning. At least, as far as I know, that works every time. Oh wait, oh, there's also different kinds of fruit here, which is really good. Um, I usually come to the island a bit earlier to get different kinds, but I've been slacking in that department a little bit. But uh, I guess, sorry, going back to the the flower um, or the gardening tour. I usually use that to get a lot of the uh, lilies and uh, violets because I find that those flowers just don't spawn as often naturally in a town. Um, so pro tip for me. <laughs> That's what I would do. Okay, so we got durians here. So you can get different kinds of fruit from the island. We just happened to get this one in this tour. Uh, if I was to come back and do this tour again, I'm actually not sure if the fruit would be the same or not. I'm gonna guess probably not, but you never know. Also, 100% not in a big rush. <laughs> we have three minutes. It's fine. Uh, okay, you're kind of across the river there, so that's just not gonna work out for me. Okay, now you're trying to cross over this way. That's fair. It's fine. There we go. I totally didn't just dunk you in some water. I forget which tour it is that has the really pretty music. I think I'm thinking of the dragonfly tour. There's tours that happen um, during like, I guess, early evening where the sun is kind of setting. And it has the prettiest music. I think it's Firefly, maybe? And there's also another one. I think it might be a shark catching one. It's been so long since I've done these, really. Okay, so we've officially earned gold here. I honestly don't have depth perception, I swear. Okay, cool. See if we can't catch any more of those. It's a good thing they don't judge you on like which ones you catch specifically. Cause I'm pretty sure there's like, probably, maybe not in this tour, but in the harder versions of this one, there's probably the really fast dragonflies that kind of zip around. These ones just kind of stay unless you swing and miss at them. Okay, nothing there. Oh, hello. Perfect. Also, I'm pretty sure dragonflies don't get spooked if you run close to them, but I'm not gonna test it. I'm just gonna walk. Just to be safe. I've probably also missed so many um, dragonflies here. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you guys are like, there's one right there and I just keep walking. That wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. I should just be sticking close to the river. Oh, 
Hello. Caught another one. I'm really excited to do some bug catching in New Horizons, you guys. I think it's going to be really interesting. Oh gosh, this music is anxiety inducing. Um, I don't know. I think the bugs obviously are going to be a little bit more realistically rendered, I guess. Um, we've already seen a couple of the fish and bugs and they look really weird compared to their new leaf counterparts or even um, pocket camp counterparts. You know what? Nine? I'll take that. We did pretty decent. I accept my fate. Let's see how many we get. Let's see here. You caught nine bugs. That's enough to net you a gold, tortimer reward, or award, and six medals. So it's not a whole lot, but out of all of the um, tours today, I think this one gives you the most medals. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, you guys. I'm gonna do a quick edit here. Uh, I'll see you guys in like two seconds, but for me, I'm gonna have to go and grind through these tours because I really want that wetsuit. Just because. So give me two seconds, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I got enough here. Just. Awesome. So that actually didn't take that long. I was doing the dragonfly tour to begin with, and then I realized... I think I know how to swim. Um, I realized that you can get the same amount of medals in less time if you do the flower tour because the flower tour you don't need to be there for the entire five minutes it's whenever you finish it's five minutes is your time limit essentially okay cool it's already in there um so yeah i'd say that's a pretty successful trip to the island here we got the swimsuit or the wetsuit uh, which means that we can start collecting deep sea creatures which if you know me i really hate diving in this game just dislike it in general um I think the whole concept is cool, I just find it tedious. But yeah, we can start doing that. Alrighty, so here we are. We are back. Uh, so I did actually end up taking home a couple flowers. I just- it was literally just leftover stuff from my, uh, I guess my garden tour adventures. But yeah, we got the diving suit now. Um, and I think to wrap up today's episode, I want to show you guys something. Maybe I should take off my boots as well. There we go. Going barefoot. Let me show you guys something. Not- I mean, whenever I do this on stream, a lot of people don't seem to know about it. So I think it's something cool you can show off. So if you go and look at the map here, Tan, you may notice that you probably have a little section of cliff that doesn't have a beach right below it. Uh, and if you just press A... If you- if you just press A, there we go. <laughs> I was a bit too close to the beach. <laughs> Uh, you can dive right in. So I think you guys that's gonna wrap up here for today I do want to thank you all so very much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you've enjoyed our uh, Maybe a little bit different than usual episode um, Of course, I do stream every single day on Twitch if you guys want to come on over and hang out um, Oh, no, I see you jellyfish. I see you. No <laughs> Um or, of course, I do upload all the streams here as well after, so. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.